Hey, what is happening guys? Welcome back to another video. And before we get started with this video, I do want to mention that everything you'll need will be in the description below, including information on how to get a cheap Windows key. So with that said, let's get right into it. All right, so to get started, you want to go ahead and grab a flash drive. It has to be at least eight gigabytes and you want to go ahead and plug it into a computer that runs Windows 10. Then you can go ahead and visit the link in the description below or type Windows 10 USB tool in Google. Then you want to go ahead and download the program and of course run it. Once you do run it, then a window like this will pop up and you want to go ahead and accept the license terms. And of course, you want to click on installation media for USB flash drive, click next and make sure that the settings here are as follows. Uh, the language you want, Windows 10 and 64 bit Windows. Then you want to go ahead and click next and make sure you select USB flash drive and select the correct drive letter. It is usually the last one, but make sure you select the correct one. Then you just wait. It will download and process and install and set up your flash drive to become a Windows 10 installation media. And then you click finish and you're done. Once that's done, you want to unplug your flash drive and go ahead to your Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro, plug it in, turn on the laptop and start hitting F2 as soon as you can. And then once that's done, you'll be brought to the BIOS screen and that is the operation system that loads before your Windows. Then you want to go ahead and click on boot. And once you click on boot, you want to go ahead and click on boot devices order. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and click and drag the EFI USB device on top of the Windows boot manager, click yes and press F10 or click on save and exit and then click yes again. And then your computer will go ahead and restart and start booting into the USB flash drive, which will bring you to the installation screen for Windows 10. Then you want to just follow what I do here and uh, make sure the language is what you want, the time zone, all that good stuff. Click next and then click install now. Then you'll be brought to the activation screen, which will ask you for the key. Now, if you don't have it, go ahead and click. I don't have the product key because you can activate it later. And then you can go ahead and choose the type of windows. Uh, make sure you select the regular type of windows. So either 10 pro 10 home and that's it. Then you want to click next and then accept the terms. Once again, click next. Then you want to click on custom install windows only for advanced. Then you want to go ahead and pretty much delete everything that you see on the list here. Basically all the stuff is from the previous window. And once you install the new windows, it will automatically recreate all of those. And then you'll be good to go. Once you delete all of them, you'll end up with a single drive called drive zero and allocated space uh, with around 238 gigabytes. Then you want to click next and that's it. For now, all you have to do is just wait until it finishes. And believe it or not, this part took about a minute and a half and uh, it was pretty damn quick. I mean, you're installing a operation system, but of course uh, it's copying the files and setting it up for the next step, which uh, is a bit more waiting. And once you do finish waiting, you'll be brought to the user setup screen. And that's where you will usually see the laptop come up in Chinese or when you get a brand new laptop from the store. And just like with a brand new laptop, you go ahead and set up your dime date, Wi-Fi, user account settings, and all that good stuff. Uh, set up your user account name, choose what you want. And then you want to go ahead and take all of those because those are all privacy stuff. Just untick them. Then you just wait a bit more. And finally you wait just a couple more minutes and you're finally inside of windows. And at this point you want to go ahead and check out your drivers and see if there are any of them installed. And usually you'll have about five of them not installed as guys can see here. And uh, to install those drivers, it's actually very easy. Once you're connected to the internet, you just want to go ahead and leave your computer or you can go and type updates and manually check for updates on your computer and windows will automatically search for the best latest drivers that work and will automatically install them for you. And uh, once that's done, you'll see them disappear one by one and you're done. That's it. Once it's done, uh, you just go ahead and restart your computer and then you wait a bit more just at 30 seconds or so. Then you want to go ahead and install your Samsung drivers for the SSD so you can get even more speed. And I'll leave links for that in the description below. You know, it's very easy. Click next, next, blah, blah, blah. And once that's done, you want to go ahead and restart one more time or activate your windows first and then restart. And that's what I did here. So you want to go ahead and type activation in the start menu, open up this window here, click change product key, type your product key in, click next, and you should be good to go. And that is actually pretty much it. You'll just wait about a minute or so, and then a windows will automatically tell you if it's activated and you're done. And basically this key you can get from pretty much anywhere you want. Again, you get it from an old laptop or get it from the links below for like 25 bucks or so. And that is actually pretty much it for this video. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.